Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Woohoo! We're Will and Jen, high school sweethearts who love to travel and live a more intentional life. Last week, we arrived in Aruba and started exploring the island, taking a UTV tour, having a bumpy private island dinner on the water, and checking out the marine life in a submarine. This week, we're getting a private tour of the island from a local and enjoying our last few days here before we head back to Florida. All right guys, so the original plan today was we were gonna rent a Jeep and drive all around the island off-road. We we're gonna go into the national park, which you can't take ATVs in. We had booked a Jeep to rent, but then when we got there, I guess there was a there was a mix up and we had requested it, but it wasn't actually confirmed. And I think the email we got about that went to his spam. So our taxi driver was nice enough. He took us all around all to every rental place that would have a Jeep. Everyone was sold out at, or rent, rented out for the Jeeps. What we ended up doing is our taxi driver was friends with this guy who does private tours of the island. So now what we're doing today is we're actually getting a private tour all around the island. Basically what our Jeep tour would have been. Yeah, except for this guy yeah. actually knows like the right routes to yeah. us. So we're not Struggling. screaming at each other because we're lost. Yeah, <laughs> and I've seen a ton of people lost, so I'm almost like kind of glad that it worked yeah. out this way. And he's taking us to also some spots that I don't think that a lot of the tour companies take you to. So we're going to be going all around the island of Aruba today, seeing the National Park and a lot of other places. So we'll show you guys everything that we see. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Ready? Fresh coconut. Look, in Aruba, we have every year we change the light. Yeah. This year we change All the different. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, different colors, different years. And today we have a special. Oh. What year is that? 1995. Wow. Oh, it's my birthday year. Yeah, it's your birthday? Yeah, 1995. It's meant to be. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I do the shoot as well. You got the shoot as well. Yeah. 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 Ye
and that's what gets the white and that's sandy what beach. gets the white sandy beach. So eventually the natural bridge that they are laying in pieces now but eventually get eaten away and that's gonna turn to white sand and there'll actually be a beach down there. That might take a thousand years though. We'll yeah. be long gone if that yeah. before we see that. <laughs> We're already on the south side. We were at Cave Pool on the north side. We came all the way down. So we're already on the other side of the yeah. island right now, facing South America. That's crazy how you can get so far. Yeah, they say it's eight miles wide. I don't think that's eight miles because we <laughs> made it down here in like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. We're at Dan Rovers for lunch. And they catch the fish right here and they take it right to the fryer. Yep. So it's like probably the freshest fish you're ever gonna get in the whole world. Yep. Go, oh, go, <laughs> The needle fish didn't get you. No! <laughs> You know, coffin. Oh. Because <laughs> it's a box, right? It's yeah. a triangle box oh. with two little horns. Because of the two little horns, they call it a coffin. It's kind of morbid. It is poisonous at the tail, but you open the middle and take the flesh out, and then you can eat it. Hmm. There's a couple of them. There's another big one right yeah. there. Poisonous. See the tail. You were just in there. Yeah. You were just in that water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is mahi mahi and the mahi. tuna. So this okay. mahi mahi fillet. And tuna right there. Gotcha. Yeah. What's Thank that? You. Tartar sauce? Tartar sauce, exactly. I like pickled red onions a lot. Oh, that's great. Not a lot of people know about this. That's how Aruba does it with the pickled red onions. Yeah. You said it, it tastes so like chicken? It does. It really does. It does it's no like fishy. Mm -hmm. Like you said, no fishy smell at all. Yeah. No fishy, you know, you don't get that fishy flavor. into the national park right now, into the wild. Ar is it Arikok? Ar Arikok, yeah. Arikok. <laughs> the park of Arikok. Arikok. Enter your own Because you just ever... Did you get that? So, which cave is this? This is the Guadarikiri cave. Guadarikiri. Yes. And uh, back in the day when the island was founded, it was founded in 1499 by the Spaniards. And then uh, before, the, when they founded the island, they found that there were uh, Arawak Indians and Caicotillo Indians from South America that have made their way here by canoes that they carved out of trees. And on a clear day, just how we can see Venezuela, uh -huh. they saw the island. So they said, you know what, Let's just go over to this island that we see in the distance and they brought you know, coconuts, plants, trees, right. goats, etc. And then when the 1499 oh, the island was founded, you know, the Spaniards took it over, they used donkeys as slave, you know, working yeah. labor animals and stuff like that. But we found out that in the caves, the, the natives actually never lived in the cave, but they actually just had their ceremonies where it's like a holy place for them. Oh, okay. Oh. You know, they also worship the sun. Just like everywhere else yeah. on the island back in the day. Just like Egyptians also worship the, the sun. sun. The what do you think of this tour so far? It's pretty cool. I don't think it's something that we would have like found out on our own. No, we definitely wouldn't have like intentionally done this. So we, it kind of happened on accident, but it's yeah, been like the best day ever. So this is where all the uh, Indian native Indians came to smoke their weed and their little, you know, puff puff pass. 
In the other cave, it smells like marijuana 100%. Really? Marijuana, but it's actually yeah. limestone coral, coral with the damp wetness that makes that smell. Smell oh, like that? Okay. Yeah. Well. And the native Kaikatiyu and Arawak Indians, they used to bury their, their dead in urns. So it'd be an urn about this big and this round, and you'll be like in your urn like this. Wow. Oh, really? Like yeah. not cremated, just like your body? Not cremated. They'd bury you, but instead of a coffin, it'd be an urn. You'd be, oh, okay. So you'd be like cloaked up in an urn. This is all paintings from the Indians. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. You see that? Can you see that on the camera? I think so. I can see. Oh yeah, I can see it good. And but this is made of the red dust and the coral that we've seen. Uh -huh. They grind it up with some aloe juice and make this ink and they finger paint. Oh wow. Yeah. So this is probably like seven, eight hundred years old. Yeah. You know, and, and we're still standing here looking exactly, at it. Exactly, and yeah. we're still looking at yeah, it. So that's weird. why they protect you, which is I find is good. Yeah. You know? Better not be any bats up in here. How thin that is. Currently going to get a fish pedicure. We're going to find out whose foot needs the most pedicure. <laughs> I bet it's gonna be his. <laughs> well, we're ready. See. The fish actually know what's going on because they'll go to the person that needs it the most first. And they don't one. care about anyone else. So you can just sit all the way along. You should come here, and in those mangoes, you would just like stick our heads inside and just grab like crabs and just oh we, really yeah we made like curry and stuff like that out oh of cool If it was clear, you could see the coast of Venezuela, but it's a little too cloudy today. And why are you sad? We're checking out of the Marriott, going to... But the vacation's not over, is it? We have today and tomorrow to enjoy ourselves, and then... Um, we fly out We fly Saturday. out on Saturday, but like the whole day will be at the airport. Yeah. But we had to move rooms because we extended our trip by like two, two nights, nights, and um, the Marriott wanted to charge like freaking crazy amount, like 1,700 bucks for two nights. So we ended up um, booking the Holiday Inn, which is only like two hotels down. They were like way cheaper. Um, so we're going there for um, the next couple days. And um, we're still kind of like in the same area. We're actually closer to the little um, street that has all of like the shops and restaurants and Starbucks because we kind of tend to go to Starbucks every morning. So I actually like the location even better. But it's just kind of a pain to have to pack up and everything, but yeah. we got it all done. You hear we'll that, Marina? Lower your prices. Lower your prices. <laughs> Unreasonable. All right, so we just checked out here at Marriott, and um, we're actually getting picked up in a couple minutes by Jurgen, who was our tour guide yesterday, and we had such a great time on the tour yesterday. It was actually my favorite day um, that we've had since we've been here. Um, had a really good time, got to see a lot of the the big landmarks in Aruba. The only thing that we couldn't see was Natural Pool, um, which is a really popular thing here where the uh, waves like crash over the rocks and create this kind of like pool you can swim in. But it's it could be very dangerous if it's like a really windy day and, and big waves. 
Um, so he already knew it was closed yesterday, so we just kind of skipped that. You so. can go, it's like an hour drive there. Obviously you want some time there and an hour drive back out. So, you know, in total you can end up spending like three hours there. And he's like, you're doing that just to stand at the edge and look at it because you can't go in and yeah. slam. Yeah, so I was kind of bummed because I really wanted to do that, but obviously I don't want to like do it and take a risk because people right. have drowned there and people can get beat up on the rocks and stuff. Um, but anyway, so yeah, yesterday was a great day and um, I actually would love to record a video. I, I haven't talked to you about this, but I think we want to do a video, um, just kind of like tips for traveling to Aruba. Mm -hmm. um, just some things that we've um, picked up and kind of like some hacks, some tips, the things, the best things to do and everything. Um, so in that video, I'll talk a lot more about that tour because highly, highly recommend that you guys um, check out Jurgen, who is the, the owner of the company. Um, but since we had a tour with him yesterday, he kind of told us like, hey, if you need any like other transportation or, you know, assistance just to give him a call and everything because taxis here are like crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. So he actually offered to um, pick us up, take us to this um, really good Dutch pancake place. So we're going to go have that for breakfast and then drop us off at the Holiday Inn um, with our bags and stuff so we don't have to walk all the way down the street with our bags. So we're planning on getting the Dutch pancakes, but that place was really busy. So we're actually getting a local favorite right now for breakfast. You want to try the beef? One chicken, one beef? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think those are going to be behind you. One carne, one one two. Those So this is a pastecci. And it's almost like an empanada, but instead of being made with cornmeal, it's made with flour tortillas. So we got um, chicken and beef, and we also have fresh squeezed orange juice that was made on the island. Very good. good, very good, yeah. So this is what the locals do for breakfast a lot, is they go to these little stops yeah. and get these. Correct. And I love it because I'm not big on like sweets for breakfast. Or so eggs. Could, or eggs, and these don't have eggs either, so I can yeah. see me eating these a lot. So we just checked into the Holiday Inn, and we have like a couple hours before our room is going to be ready. So we're just kind of like relaxing a little bit, sitting back. We're kind of taking it a chill day because we did so much yesterday and we're both kind of tired. Just going to relax here a little bit and just enjoy the breeze and the palm trees. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. It's our last full day in Aruba. We, <laughs> we're we super sad. We absolutely love this place. Basically, what we just did is the COVID test. And if you saw us like 10 minutes ago, we were walking so slow to the COVID testing site and trying to figure out how, where we were going. Yeah. Um, we ended up doing the PCR test. No. I'm sorry, the antigen, antigen test. Um, they offered both, but the antigen was like a lot cheaper. Um, and it was accepted by the U.S. They said it meets all the specs and everything. So that was the first like th the COVID test we took to get here was the spit test that we mailed in um, through right. Vault. That's the company that does that. So that was like the first like traditional kind of COVID test that we've gotten. So I don't know how the others compare, but that one was we got ourselves more worked up we did. than the than <laughs> we were like dragging our feet. Like I don't think I've ever walked so slow in yeah. here because we were like just did not want to do it. And literally like. Our plane leaves tomorrow, what time? At one, I think. One o'clock, and it's uh, 10 o'clock the night before, or the morning before. So we're like pushing it because we were putting it off so long. And we were like, all right, we just gotta get it done. Yeah. <laughs> so, but now it's done, so we it's can enjoy done. the rest of the day. we can enjoy the last 24 hours. Yeah. And I think we're gonna do a little bit of shopping, relax, get yeah. packed up a little bit, maybe hit the beach again, and. Yeah. Okay, so Jen's really scared of the ocean, ocean water. And she feels seaweed right now, or maybe sharks. On our last night in Aruba, we took a sunset catamaran cruise down the west coastline.
Good morning. You probably saw that sunset cruise we did last night. That was kind of like our grand finale of the trip. We went out on a catamaran and it was like a two hour sunset cruise that kind of ran all up and down um, the coast here where like all of the hotels are. So we really enjoyed it. Um, got to see the sunset and see the island from the water side. Yeah. One last time. It was great. So today is the day we leave. We're heading to get a coffee. We already packed our stuff. And then um, the local that we met on the island that took us for a tour is actually picking us up and taking us to the airport. One last stop had to hit the I Love Aruba sign. solid ground about to hit the road and actually head up to Orlando for tonight actually tonight Will's sister is flying down so we're she's flying into Orlando so we're gonna drive up to Orlando um, pick her up later tonight and um, I think Matt is meeting us tonight if not tomorrow morning but our hope is we're trying to go to Universal Orlando but um, we looked on there like they have it where you can reserve days ahead of time and when we tried to do that, the days were going and were sold out. And um, I tried talking with someone in guest services, can't really find out if like tickets are completely sold out or if they only allow a certain amount of tickets to be booked like ahead of time. So we're gonna cross our fingers and like show up at the gate um, that morning and try to buy tickets and get in. Um, but that's the plan. We're gonna be in Florida for the next couple days and then we'll be heading back to Maryland. Mm -hmm. 